We're hoping to get underway at 1 p.m. So registration is closed for the mini golf championship. You can win the trophy, the three and a half thousand dollar first prize tomorrow here on the outstanding facility, the 36 hole mini golf at Thornley Golf Center. We have an awful lot of interest in this. A lot of you have tagged your friends and mentioned other people. Well, now is the time to act. There's been a lot of people saying they're going to be involved with this. Professionals so far, so your chance of winning. Did I say that again? Three and a half thousand dollars in cash first prize tomorrow has gone up absolutely massively. Get yourself down here tomorrow, get registered. We're going to have a great day, and at the end of the day, then it could be you with the trophy here, stood on the top of that first prize balcony. So get yourselves down three and a half thousand dollars cash. We will see you hopefully tomorrow and your chance to be crowned the Australian Mini Golf Champion. The first time it's happened here in Australia. It will be an annual event, so you'll go on to the Hall of Fame wall. Yeah, have a great day. See you tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Australian Championship of Mini Golf. We're here, beautiful sunny day, sun's out, and uh, yeah, perfect conditions for what I must say, but a bit of a breeze. Good turnout, it looks really well. We're currently in uh, pre-match warm-ups. Mixed results, just trying to get that nerve to our system and make sure that we can play the best possible today. So, the excitement's here, the king is here, and we're looking forward to a great day. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great privilege to welcome the putter king, Mr. Alan Cox, here today at the Australian Championship of Mini Golf here at Thornley on this beautiful day. It's great to have you here, mate. It was great to meet you in the opening rounds of the warm ups. How are you feeling about today? Um, hopefully, give you both some good tips. Um, hopefully, those tips work today, and um, let's try and get lucky and drop in some tools. Absolutely. Which I think we'll be doing today. Absolutely. This guy knows his stuff. He's been practicing, he knows every inch of this course, so hopefully, uh, he can get the job done today. We kind of hope we're rooting for him. No, as you see, Andrew, we've got plenty of fountains and uh, waterfalls and we've got you know, lovely uh, grass and uh, we've got two courses here, one's the billabong, so it snakes through water and the other one's the palms, so there's a lovely palm trees and everything. guy live again from the top of the rock as the competitors come close to the notorious ace bit corner not amen corner as you golf fans know you true golf fans any event doesn't really start until the back nine on sunday and here we are coming towards the back nine as the competitors the leading group approaches the turn and the famous ace bit corner Let's turn the camera around so you can catch a little bit of the action. So the leading group of Cox, Pilgrim and Merriman. Just playing up the hill there, this hole, number eight on the billabong. Kind of an innocuous looking hole. Up one, up two. Little bit of a bump off the right if you can use it. Certainly not easy. But the next hole is the one that's sure to confuse the players. It's a shortish hole, not too long, but absolutely featureless as you look down. There's the leader himself. 
Steve Ayres, but in charge of the event, making sure that the preparation of the green is perfect for this leading group of players. So here's Merriman on the tee at nine. Par two, putting for birdie. And as you can see, it's an innocuous looking hole. Very, very straight. Nothing really to trouble the players on this hole, but it's a very, very hard ace. Very, very difficult to catch that little bit of break. Merriman, a veteran of a number of prime wins on the Australian Legends Tour. Rolls up quite nicely to three feet. But as any of you regulars here on this course will know, them are not gimmies. Time taken, money at stake. Putting like a champion. Solid. Years of competition coming to the fore. Here we are. Young Stefan. There we go, for the birdie. Is it? It's a strange hole, it breaks both ways. Every time you hit one that you think's on the line, it turns kind of one way, there's like a little hogs back down there and it's real easy just to roll it by for four feet for par. And that, my friends, is what it's like to put for real money. Making them all day in practice. Misses from three feet. Here's Cox. For birdie. Knows the course better than any other player. And there it goes to show. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Birdie for Cox at nine. As they come to Aisbit Corner. Here we go. Interesting hole. All the way around off the angles. Runs pretty fast on the way down. Cox for birdie. Trying to take out the first national championships. Round. Off the slope. Here it comes. Will it break back? We know it does. It could go. Is it back to back? It's back to back for Cox. Merriman. Seen the way to go. Years of experience. On its way. Off one corner. Off another. Catches the edge. Carrying pace. Just sneaking by. Sneaking by. Now then, every putt at this stage. Super important. Struggles with the bricks. Struggles with the bricks. Always difficult when you're up against it. Always difficult. Young Stefan here. Out of nowhere. This is an unknown uh, an unknown customer today. Likes to play plenty of mini golf, but not one of the favourites pre the tournament. But that's mini golf for you. Leaves himself work to do. Crowd gasps, roll it by. Not in yet either. Worked it is. Ah, uh, recovers well. Good put on the way back home. As they approach the 10th hole. He's a lot, little, a long ledge really. It drops off on both sides. Cox knows this hole backwards. On two birdies. Has he made it? Through the tree. Can we see it? We can and it's gone down. And is he going to go? Oh. He is the luckiest man in the whole of Thorn Lake. One more roll, that ball's down in the bunker. Gonna have to be an acrobatic one here. Off the side, let's see if we can move our camera vision around so we can see the action. He's made it on the way back and there's the fist pump of a champion, Tiger Woods style. Three hole stretch could make or break your career as a mini golfer. This Merriman for birdie. 
Makeable with his skills, ball on the way. Through the trees, in the shadows, I can see it. It's come up short, but it looks like an okay two putt. Easier said than done. Takes his time, strokes it in. Well done. Last player on the final hole of Aisbit Corner. Here we have Stefan for birdie on 10. Ball on the way. Speed looks short. It's okay, though. Should make the par. And uh, successfully through the Aisbit Corner turn. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Wood from the top of the rock during the Australian Mini Golf Championships. We will come to you live when the closing ceremony and the players coming down 18. So here we are, live. 17th hole of the championships. Merriman had a one-stroke lead coming into this hole. That is just He's had a bounce off off one of the bricks. The golf ball hit off the brick, went backwards, and he had to have a second go. So here we go. Stefan is now out of the tournament pretty much, or out of the winning circle, having faulted over the last 18. But that's another one. Oh, and there's the look of the draw in this game. Bounces off the bricks and gets lucky. Now, by my reckoning, that was a four for Merriman, which would essentially mean a two for Cox, would give him a one-stroke lead playing 18. Oh, there's a great putt. The crowd have gone wild. Here we go. Cox in deep, deep thought and concentration. This is a huge putt. And he has got a favourable bounce into the shadows on the corner. But certainly no gimmick. Consulting the charts. Having a look. Taking a little relief from the break. deep in thought. By my reckoning, this is to take a one-shot lead down the last hole. Come on! And he has made it. There you go. The crowd are going wild. As we come to 18, this, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be for the championship. Dave is two behind, apparently. Cox. Good put. Using the brakes on the right side. Gets an unfavorable bounce. Not happy at all with that. Not happy at all. Work to do. No gimme. A miss here. Let's marry men in. Nerves of steel, and he has made it. And I think that might have done the job for Cox. The trick with this 18th hole, off the brick on the right-hand side. Get yourself a bounce. That's where the fortune is. You hit the angle there. You can see that one's just spinning off the side. Back of the bricks, four feet, five feet maybe coming back for... Young Stefan, who I'm sure will be back next year, has the taste for competition, but putting for real cash, three and a half thousand dollars. It's not easy. And dribbles it away down the right side. So disappointing three putt to finish. Merriman. Is this is a one enough? I don't think it is. 
good putts on its way. It's hit the board. It's not tracking well. But I think your champion, ladies and gentlemen, will be Alan Cox. We will come live in a couple of minutes from the presentation ceremony. Overall, Australia has many golf championships. And if I could talk a, work, a week off work to come out here and practice every day. If you looked at his, checking his sheet, if you watch Jordan speak on the US Tour, which I don't even do, he wrote what the breaks were on every green. He did that much work. He was here eight hours a day, every day. <laughs> Thoroughly deserve it. The man who was born to play mini golf. He loves and breathes it. And you'll go away and show all your friends all the beautiful patches about the <laughs> Yeah. 